Melanated power, people. Y'all woke up in all sorts of type of feelings this morning. I'm in my feelings. I hear the gossip. I these cats chirping out there. Your YouTube videos constantly bang, but y'all don't realize I'm really for the people. And right now, I'm all the way turned up. I'm tired of seeing my people get killed year after year from the same shit. While y'all over there posting videos, banging on each other, we got an enemy out here constantly killing us. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I'm going to ask everybody to let their racial convictions subside just for a second. Because the leading killer of us all and the leading killer of black people is cancer, it's diabetes, it's lupus, it's any of a number of those hosts. In fact, we're the fucking hosts. And so what I really want to talk to you guys about is this. How do we bang back against germs, microbes, bacteria, and viruses? How do you bang back against something that's one millionth of a size of you? See these nine millimeters? Take a 357 out the fucking sky. But it's obsolete when it comes to a virus, germ, microbe, or bacteria. So what can we use? Because as a father, I pride myself in being able to take care of my children. And as a husband, I pride myself in being able to take care of my wives. But I cannot defeat the enemy, the open enemy, with this. But I can kick some ass with these. That's right. I'm going to kick major ass with these. So we got to have a conversation about these things right here. That's what we got to do. I know y'all think I'm bugged out. And this information will make you bugged out in a good way. So our conversation is going to be them versus us. And the first thing I want to talk to you about... Triclosan. What about triclosan? Well, this is in your hand sanitizers and your antibacterial soaps and even in your so-called good toothpaste. Triclosan causes the epidermis layer to lower in its barrier. It lowers the barrier of the epidermis layer, the uppermost portion of your skin. Our skin is our largest organ. Its first line is defense. It is there to protect us. But when you use products that have triclosan in it, it not only lowers the barrier, it makes your skin more permeable. So they're telling you wash your hands six, seven times a day, and some of you are even more excessive washing it 10 or more times a day. But what you're doing is breaking your skin up over and over and over, making it easier for germs, microbes, bacteria, and viruses to get inside and invade you. So how do we go against it? So what, now we know it's opening our skin. You know, they don't want you touching your mouth, your nose, or your eyes. That's what they say. But when you have something with triclosan in it, guess what's going to happen? It inflammates your nose. It makes you want to scratch your nose. Once you scratch your nose, your hand is by your eye and it's by your mouth. It inflammates it. So what is the solution? We can't just give you the problem. We can't just state the liabilities. We have to give you the remedy. So today we're going to create our own hand sanitizer. And the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the aloe plant. We're going to take this aloe plant and we're going to scoop the aloe out of it, right? We scoop the aloe out of it and we're going to put the aloe right up in here. Wow. Right there. Okay. We'll figure the rest out. What does aloe have in it? Well... Aloe has aloe emodin. This is antiviral. Guess what? Those hand sanitizers that got the triclosan in it, this is not antiviral. It is antibacteria. It'll kill the good and the bad bacteria. And you need the good bacteria to communicate to the immune system that the opposite there. In other words, for those of you that's not from the hood and you don't know the hood nomenclature, we're saying the invaders in the body, the good bacteria is there. One of the reasons the good bacteria serves you is because it communicates with the immune system to say there's an invader here. Let's collect data and let's attack it. But if you kill the good bacteria, you lower your ability to defend yourself. So one, this is not antiviral. And two, it kills the good bacteria while it kills the bad bacteria. But over here, aloe emodin, which is antiviral is an exudate which means it's secreted by the plant and that's that vera that you see that's that 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 secretion that you see a scooping 
out with the spoon. So we're gonna put that there. We're also gonna use apple cider vinegar. We're gonna use apple cider vinegar, people. Apple cider vinegar has what you call acetic acid, but it's spelled with a D. So it sounds like acetic acid, pause. And because I'm not into that space, I'd rather use a different term, scientific term, ethnoic acid. Same thing as this. And it's chemical appropriation is CH3COOH, okay? And what this does is it kills bad bacteria. It'll body a few good bacteria in the internal, but it's mostly going to kill bad bacteria. And that's what you want. It's, a, it's not a probiotic, though. Some people call it a probiotic, but a probiotic is something, it's good bacteria that have been proven to positively affect the human body. So if the, good, if the bacteria in it hasn't been proven to help the body on several instances, then it doesn't exactly qualify. So the good bacteria is called, one of them, Right, it's called lactobacillus acid doph -philis. So lactobacillus acidophilus. Lactobacillus acidophilus. This is your good bacteria. That's the name of one of the colonies that's bred and with them there's subdivisions and subsidiaries of the same. Okay, you don't want to destroy these guys. These are the guys that help you with your mood. These are the guys that that communicate to the immune system. Yo, there's viruses, germs, and bacteria here that don't rock out with us. We gotta bang. You gotta take care of these guys. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a two to one ratio between apple cider vinegar and aloe vera. Aloe vera is gonna be the two, and apple cider vinegar is gonna be half of that two, two to one ratio, and we're gonna mix those together. We're also gonna put a little bit of lemon in there because the lemon has an antioxidant fighting immune boosting mechanism called vitamin C. That's right. Viruses can't coexist when vitamin C is present. They hate it. So we're gonna make sure we put this in here just so it can soak, because the apple cider vinegar, what it's also gonna do, that acetic acid or that ethanoic acid is gonna want a pulling from this skin, because all the nutrients are jam packed in the skin. That's why we're gonna leave the skin in there to soak and that vitamin C is gonna be extrapolated out of here. And so now, what we're doing, we're creating a very powerful potion to clean our hands. But even though we're doing that, guess what? This is extrinsic. So in one hand, we was opening up the skin. But after you create your solution and you wash your hands with it, you're also gonna use the lime lemon right after it. What you gonna do with the lemon? You're gonna wipe your hands with the lemon because after that, it's extrinsic, which means it causes your pores to tighten up. Your hands will feel like a glove. So whether you wear gloves or not, you need to do this so you can tighten up your pores so nothing could go in it even when you take off your gloves. How about that? That's powerful. And after you do all of that, and you put this solution on and you wipe your hands, then you're gonna get your prebiotics. Cause your prebiotic is gonna do what? Oh yeah, prebiotic means this is the food that feeds the probiotics. This is the food that feeds the good bacteria. So you're gonna put prebiotic on your hand. This is high in inulin. Inulin is a non-digestible fiber. That means it goes into the small intestine, doesn't get digested, it stays there, gets fermented, and then the good bacteria is able to consume it. When the good bacteria consumes it, then it creates a chain, a short chain of fatty acids that feeds the cells throughout the gut lining all the way up to your esophagus for your protection and for the ability to communicate. So inulin is there, even in avocado. That's why when you wear avocado mask, that's very good because it also feeds the good bacteria. So what we're gonna do, we're going to pour this in here, just one third. We're gonna put that skin in here. And there you go. If this is a spray bottle, you just spray it on your hand. And we just banged on the enemy. This is the real hammer. This is the real nine millimeter piece of the family. Share this video, share this video, share this video.